Hi there everybody, this is David and I have some fantastic, fantastic news for you. This is in regards to the Final Fantasy IX Remake. We first heard about this remake in the NVIDIA leak three years ago back in 2021. Um, just about everything from that leak has come to fruition. Um, in regards to the Square Enix games though, we're still waiting on two. There was the Final Fantasy IX Remake and there was the Final Fantasy Tactics remake that we are both waiting on. Um, Midori here has leaked about the Final Fantasy IX remake, though. She says that that has not been cancelled, that is still here. I didn't think that it would be cancelled. I don't understand, like, what the thought process is of anybody who thought that that would be cancelled. It's Final Fantasy, for God's sakes. Like, it's not going anywhere. Give me a freaking break. Um, so this game could possibly even be released this year year. She says it could be released this fiscal year, which is all the way up to March 2025, but she is not entirely sure. But it is very, very, very far along, and it's just right around the corner. Final Fantasy IX has been one of my favorite games in the entire series for many, many years. I have loved it. I've always I've always loved the classic Final Fantasy games, the ones that give you predetermined party members in predefined roles. The ones kind of like Final Fantasy IV, where, you know, you get Rydia and she's a black mage and a summoner, or you get Rose and she's the white mage. That's how um, Final Fantasy IX is. Everybody has their own role, everybody has their own class, and it is just fantastic. It takes place in this medieval, steampunky type world where there's one very developed continent, uh, the Gaia continent, the Mist continent, and then the other continents, it's kind of like an age of exploration. Nobody really knows what's out there. There's like the, um, the unknown continents, the forgotten continents, and you go out and you explore the world and you find out about it on your own, and it's just so classic. I love, love the story. I love the characters. Everything about Final Fantasy IX I've always loved. Anyway, this remake is very far along in development. This is a turn-based combat remake. This is not a Final Fantasy VII fiasco. This is not going to be three or four separate games. This is going to be you buy one game, one time, and that's it. Do you remember the Trials of Mana remake that we got recently and how great that was and what an upgrade it was from Psychic and Setsu 3? It seems to be the same thing here. She even said that this is a little higher budget, a little bit better, a little bit more money has been put into this than a typical Mana remake, meaning the Legend of Mana remakes, the Trials of Mana remakes, and the Secret of Mana remakes that we got. So this seems to be fantastic. I am so looking forward to this. Also, it is multi platform. This is not just going to be on the Switch or the Sony systems. This is going to be on everything. Square talked about that recently. They talked about how they wanted to really expand their user base and how, how um, exclusives weren't really working for them any longer. So do look forward to this over on the PS4 and PS5, more than likely at least the PS5, maybe not the PS4, and maybe not the Switch, but probably the Switch 2, as well as the Xbox and the PC. Speaking of the Switch 2, Midori came out recently. She was talking about Visions of Mana, which is another Square Enix game that I'm very, very much looking forward to. And we already know that that's not coming out for the Switch, but she did say that it's going to be a launch title for the Switch 2. So if you don't have, um, if you don't have the Sony consoles or you want to get it for the Switch or you want to get it portable for whatever reason, uh, do look forward to that as well. Then, Midori also mentioned that Square Enix will have a presence at the Xbox Game Showcase that is coming up this Sunday. And we already have a rumor of Octopath Traveler 2 uh, showing up there at that Game Showcase, and it's also possible that we could get a release date for Visions of Mana. Right now we just have a summer date for that, but we could get a release date for that as well. Now, I kind of went off on a tangent there with Mana, but, but I'm not done because there's even more! Team Asano is still in the game. They are still developing games. Those are the people who brought us the Brave Little Default series, the Octopath Traveler series, the Live Alive remake. It says from Midori, Team Asano has some very exciting projects in development right now. She doesn't say what those projects are, but they're very exciting projects. Yay! I personally, personally, am hoping for either a Brave Little Default 3 
or getting a Bravely collection, maybe even including four Heroes of Light, just hopefully getting those, you know, off the 3DS and onto consoles, I think that that would just be fantastic. Maybe something new. Maybe they're working on Octopath Traveler 3. Maybe they're working on a brand new game. Who knows? But everything that Team Asano puts together is traditional. It is right up my alley. It is turn-based games with world maps, the kind of games that I love, and I think the kind of games that y'all love too. This is super, super exciting, but nothing can top this. It gets even better, but wait, there's more. Yeah, this is like a Ginsu knife commercial. There's always something else for you. We have a question. Any estimated release date for the Dragon Quest HD 2D? Midori says, the release period will be revealed at this Nintendo Direct. This title is currently scheduled for this year. Not this fiscal year. Not till March 2025. This year, 2024. Ha! Like, I cannot even stand it. I cannot even freaking stand it right now. This is everything that I've always wanted. Like, we're getting, like, the best Final Fantasy remade. We're getting the Erdrick Trilogy remade and released this year. We're getting more information on Mana. We're getting some information on the Team Asano games. Like, what more could we possibly want? This is, like, the gift that keeps on giving. This is the Square Enix that I grew up with. This is the Square Enix that I know and love. This is the Square Enix that I wish it had always had been for like the last decade before they went off on their weirdness. They're, they're, they're going back to the basics. I think that they learned from the success of Triangle Strategy, the success of Octopath Traveler, you know, the success of these back to the basic games. And they're thinking, hey, you know what? We can make a game that's pretty cheap and still make some really freaking good money on it. Huh. Why are we spending all of our money on eye and hair physics on these ridiculous games whenever we could just be making, you know, the basic classic games that everybody loves? And that's what they're going back to. And this is just fantastic. They are the company after my heart. This again, this is the company that I grew up with in the 80s and the 90s. This is what I love. And it's here. And I am here to support this. This is great. I, I know you think of me as David, that YouTuber, but I'm telling you, I am a fan first and a YouTuber second. And ho, 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 I am fangirling right now. I mean, come on, what more do you want? We got Mana, we got Final Fantasy IX, we got Dragon Quest, and we got maybe some Bravely, maybe something new, maybe an Octopath Traveler. Like, is there anything better? Is there really anything better than this? Like, come on. This is blowing my mind, and I am loving it. And now I want to know from y'all, what do you think about this? Are you as excited as I am? What games do you think that they might go into next? What games do you think that Team Asano is, is, is working on? What do you think is going on through there? Do you think that they're making the right decisions? Do you think they're making the wrong decisions? I personally think that they are on definitely the right path. And I am so excited. I am so thankful for this. And I just want to know what y'all think about it in the comments. And as always, have a good day.